Hello, class. Good morning. Hello, teacher. <laughs> wow, what was that? Hi, Nuri. <laughs> How are you? I am fine, and you? Oh, fine too. Good. How is your, your throat? I think I am better now. I think. Ah, okay. Did you did you take some medicine? Yes, I did. I took some tequila yesterday. <laughs> no, I did. I did. I well, had to, I had like three drinks of tequila, like. Argh. And it, it worked a little. Okay. With lemon and salt? No, only straight. Straight. Marielos, where are you? Teacher. Yes, can you hear me? Class, can you hear me? <laughs> Here, teacher. I'm, I'm here. I'm sorry. I'm okay. at the. I'm still in the. The teacher is free. Wait. I'm sorry. Can you hear me, class? Yes or no? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Yes. I see Marielos moving, and I see Doris moving. Nuri, I think Nuri is stuck. Marielos, you're at the office still. Yes, we are working. <laughs> Where do you work? I work for um, in the accounting account department of the a restaurant, a, a group of restaurants. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. that's, oh. Where, that's why we are working at this, at this time. <laughs> oh, OK, good. Mm -hmm. Wow, good job. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> Hello, Luis. Hey, hey, good night, teacher. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Well, you okay. don't say you you only say good night. Good evening. Or, no? Yes, you say good evening. Good night yeah. is only like for bye bye. Okay, but it's not. It's not bye bye. It's a comment. All right, cool. Where is everybody today? Looking. Um, I imagine watching the president. In my case, not. No, I, I watch the president. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if we were having this class today. Why? Because of the president. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't think it's it's um. That's not um. That's not um. That's not comments like a holiday or something. No, no, of course. Yeah. But, but I am interested. I am interested to see what he's going to say. We will know tomorrow. Yeah. Or maybe later. You know why I I like watching the president, but I like watching when he gives a press conference. So I don't know if he's going to only speak or if he's going to have a press conference because when he has a press conference, it's funny. <laughs> I, I love that. You know, like when people from El Faro or La Prensa Grafica, <laughs> when they ask him questions <laughs> and he, he attacks them. Oh, I like that. The boom, 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 boom. It's a, <laughs> it's a novella. Yeah. He's very smart, like very like, Mm -hmm. for good or bad but he is he's he's on top of everything mm -hmm. yes it is. or 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 maybe the, the the reporters are very stupid too oh because they are they, yeah no, yeah maybe no i was telling them that what, one thing i like about the president is that when they ask him questions he he has this ability to remember like to make numbers in his head and uh he knows what he is saying so 
he's not an easy person to attack. Mm. Like if you if you want to attack Bukele, you have to be pre very prepared, in my opinion, <laughs> because he he will attack you. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Maybe maybe or he's very good, or the or the reporters are very bad. <laughs> yeah. But I, I think the reporters are very bad because um, I don't know. Did you see this this reporter from El Faro that he was saying that the Maras are necessary for the country? Okay, I was interested in that. But if if you see, he is in a TV show and they're interviewing him and he's only talking, talking, talking and the person is not asking why. The, the reporter, he's saying, no, the, you know, Maras are something necessary for the country. You know, in that moment, stop. Okay, good. Can you tell me why? Why do you think it's necessary? You know, that's a reporter, but no, they just let them talk, talk, talk. <laughs> so, I don't know. We need a good reporter. Uh, Funes was a good reporter. I remember Funes when he was in Channel 12. When he was aún cuando era normal. <laughs> he, yeah, he, he, he actually, he gave good interviews. Remember when he was in Channel 12? Those era, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. He was a good reporter. I mean, but listen, listen, good reporter. Or I'm not saying, not like, yeah, I'm not saying a good president, a good person or whatever. He was a good reporter. He, because he was he wasn't only passive he was active yeah, that's the problem I think um the reporters here are not active they're only passives yeah so um okay now good more people are here now all right let's start Mirna I promise you you are in a bunker <laughs> you look like you are in one of those TV movies that Everything is underground. Underground. Yes. Because it's dark. And look at all those connections in the back. You have a very good con uh, internet connection. Look at the Ethernet cable. It's like you have your own company down there. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Very good. Galena, Miguel, welcome. Marvin, Hollywood. Hey, talking about talking about Hollywood. Um, Johnny Depp is free now, right? He won. He won. He won. He won. Wow. Oh, good but, one. But I'm sorry, but that woman was a little crazy, man. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I don't know what she was thinking to take Johnny Depp to court. If she knew that Johnny Depp had all that evidence, I would just disappear like, hey, the hell will I see? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, okay, let's see. So remember, yesterday we we're doing proper and improper things to do or things to say in your culture or in general, correct? Yes. All right, good. Okay. Let me see. Let's watch another video. Okay, I'm going to put the video. Please tell me if you can hear it. Hold on. Let me share my... Okay, do you see the lady? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. All right. Let's share sound. Okay, let's do it. Let's listen to her. Close to people when you talk to them. This is what we did yesterday. Well, Remember, you kiss. You and your you parents do... talk honestly. How's it going? Okay, this is the part that we didn't finish yesterday. It's awful. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Conversation okay. openers and conversation closers. I think I think the name is very self-explanatory. What is a conversation opener, correct? Mm -hmm. That's how you open a conversation. How's it going? Mm -hmm. What is another expression of how is it going? Normally, how are you? How are you? What's up? What's up? Or everything good? Question, right? Mm -hmm. Or now, what's new? No? Hey, yeah. Hey, hi. How are you? What's new, man? Or you can say, hey, stranger. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> who, who do you say hey, stranger to? Uh, Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's don't a know. it's a sarcastic way of saying to somebody you know, but has disappeared for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Como like a hey, Miguel que se ha hecho. I don't know, man. You know, and like maybe days, weeks, months, years, and then Miguel suddenly appears. Uh -huh. And you want to be like funny, sarcastic, you know. Hey, stranger. Mm -hmm. I got it. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> I got it. Got it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Como, yeah. I think it's another version I care. Like in Spanish, we say, no te perdas. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, hola perdido. Hola perdido. Apareció. Uh, apareció. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, in English, you say, hey, stranger. Uh -huh. But you don't, you don't say that to a real stranger. Like, hey, stranger. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can you believe this weather? Can you believe this weather? That's another conversation opener. Ooh. Can you believe? Believe. I believe. Yeah. Ah. Can you believe this weather? Well. I, I, I remember I told my class before that I lived in San Miguel two years. Mm -hmm. And um, really is, it's crazy hot. It's, yes. No, but it's, it's not, it's something you, you can't explain. It, it's just hot. Mm -hmm. It's escucha, you can hear. Mm -hmm. if, if, you, if, you, if you are in a silent place in San Miguel with no sound, mm -hmm. so yeah, see. Mm -hmm. I promise you. So it's hot, but I love San Miguel. I really love San Miguel. But I remember one thing mm -hmm. that everybody from San Miguel always said, man, it's hot today, huh? Mm -hmm. It's hot today. And I said, oh my God, it's always hot in San Miguel. When is it cold? Mm -hmm. Imagine you were born in San Miguel. You study in San Miguel. You got married in San Miguel. You bought a house in San Miguel. And every day you say, man, it's hot. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's like an Eskimo saying it's cold in 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 Alaska. No, and, and you know, teacher, I remember a long time ago. Uh, I was with my family. We were we went to the um, Las Pilas. No, uh, I don't remember Chalatenango. Yeah. But I remember I I talk with uh, uh, San Miguel people. Hey, hello, how are you? Good, good. But they say, hey, I need to back to San Miguel. Why? Because here it's cold. I need to back to San Miguel. I need it, to get back. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. I prefer the cold, not the hot. You know, I remember I used Teacher? to wake I, mm -hmm. I, I used to wake up at five in the morning in San Miguel. Mm -hmm. And between five and six in the between five and seven in the morning. Is the mm -hmm. only time in the day that it's not cold, but it's not but, hot. Uh huh. But it's like, ah, oh, this is nice, you know. Ah, uh, okay. And I remember, so I wake up at five, I take a shower, and I leave my house at six. You know, walking, uh -huh. and I promise you, I promise you, this was funny. You <laughs> see people in sweaters. Uh, I know. <laughs> yes. At that time, you see like people in sweaters, you know, because it's cold. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, but I really love San Miguel. I, I could live in San Miguel, except mm -hmm. it's too hot. Mm -hmm. One thing, you know, in San Miguel, everybody has air conditioning. Also, like, like in San Salvador, only if you're rich or like you do the extra effort to have an air conditioning, but maybe only one. Mm -hmm. But in San Miguel, everybody, I mean, even if you are low class, mm -hmm. you will have air conditioning in your house. It's, it's something basic. It's a basic necessity. It's yeah. necessary. Yes, necessary. Okay, so that's a good conversation, conversation opener. Can you believe this weather? It's awful. Mm -hmm. You know, it was sad. Like a month ago, I was getting my antecedentes penales. Mm -hmm. And um, I was very angry that day because, you know, that that's usually 10, 15 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. It took me like one hour, 30 minutes to get my, my papers. Oh, no, uh, 10 minutes. The problem is that um, all this Mareros getting arrested. Mm -hmm. So you will see all the mothers and all the wives taking out the antecedentes for them. Mm. But the problem is that they give priority to old people and pregnant women. Mm -hmm. And they are all pregnant. <laughs> uh, or they are all old. So, you know, like you see 10 people in front of you. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly, oh, I see, oh, I see. Boom, like five, five women come pregnant. He's like, oh, yeah, pass it. Pass it. Like, oh, God. And then, you know, and then, <laughs> and then suddenly, like 20 old lady grandmothers or something i my son got arrested oh pass, pass. and i was like you know yeah so i i really don't recommend taking your antecedentes right now okay it's a good business in this moment but i remember that the conversation because conversation opener mm -hmm. It was because I was listening to the ladies. Yeah, suyo donde lo agarraron. Really, that, that's... Oh. I promise you, that was the conversation opener for them. <laughs> oh, el suyo donde está? Where is yours? And, you know, the continuation is, oh, he was working. They confused him. All of them, they, they confused him. <laughs> but can you imagine the, the, new, the new conversation topic in, in Antecedenta Penales? <laughs> Like, yes, we are. Yeah. where is yours? <laughs> okay. Hey, that's a great jacket. Okay, that's a compliment. That's a way to start. You know, like when you want to speak with somebody, hey, that's a great mm -hmm. jacket. Mm -hmm. It's a great tie. It's a great tie. Mm -hmm. One time I was, I think, 12 years old. And it was the first time that I took the courage to go talk to a girl because I like her. Mm -hmm. And um, all my friends, you know, I don't know about women, but men, we are bad friends when we're like, we are a very bad influence because all my friends go, go talk to her, man, come on, go. Because, you know, <laughs> they all tell you, but they don't do it. Mm -hmm. So then I remember I went to talk to, because now that I see this, it's a great jacket. Mm -hmm. I went to talk to her mm -hmm. and I said, I like your lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> and she looked at me very wow. weird, like, what why? <laughs> she said, why? <laughs> I'm okay, like, oh my God, yes. Now she thinks I, I use lipstick. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just, I turned around. I, you said, I, hey, I don't use lipstick. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it, it was not it was not a very good conversation opener. I should have no. said like I like your shirt or something. I like your lipstick. <laughs> yeah, I I remember until now. I really I have it here in my her her reaction. She was like, <laughs> "Why?" <laughs> <laughs> that was my first experience opening a conversation. All right. Uh, do you know what? Do you know what? Do you, oh, do you know many people here? What else do you think is a good conversation opener? 
mm-hmm. or uh, in 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 our culture, what is a typical conversation opener? Mm-hmm. Maybe with a friend, a old friend. Hey, hello, how are you? Uh, your family is good. Your child is good, healthy. Yeah, hey, hey, how's the family? Very good, yeah. Mm-hmm. What about when you want to talk to a girl you like? Mm. Hello, you are beautiful like every day. <laughs> no. Oh <laughs> my God, you are so... <laughs> I, I, <don't laughs> <love you. laughs> I, I, I am bad. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you, you're straight to the point. Your next, qu- your next question is, do you want to be my girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> One time, um, last, I don't, I, I forgot when it was, but uh, this woman, she was wearing this beautiful perfume. It was so, oh my God, it's like when she passed by me, my kid, I have never been very attracted to a perfume. And um, I wanted to ask that woman which perfume it was. It was in mm-hmm. Siman. But, and I said, oh my God, but if I ask her, she's going to think that. <laughs> so, um, so I was honest and I said, excuse me, I, I want to ask you a question and let me tell you why. I am married. She said, okay. <laughs> I am married and I like your perfume. And I want to buy that perfume for my wife. <laughs> and she smiled. She said, oh. <laughs> Qué lindo, thank you. I said, hey. Cuando no lo quise hacer con la más mala intención, me salió bueno el piropo. And she said the name of the perfume? Yes, and I forgot because it was something like, oh, so, oh, oh. <laughs> and I said, thank you. <laughs> yes. And, you know, but when she left, I asked the people, like the women around her, do you know that perfume? Did you, that perfume? No. But will it equal? Yeah, it smells very good. But it was some very strange name, like. <laughs> but I, I, I still have that, that someday I will discover that perfume. Mm-hmm. But then I was thinking, nah, because if I give it to my <laughs> wife, she's going to say, hmm, who rem- <laughs> why this perfume? <laughs> you, you, you know, you never win. Hey, by Shakira. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's a that's a good conversation. Hey, you look you look pretty like always. Um All right, now. Okay, so imagine Ana Godinez. I'm sorry, Ana Godinez. Yeah, Ana Godinez, right? Yeah. Ana Vilma. Imagine Alexander comes to you in a bar and he says that conversation opener. Mm-hmm. Wow, you look beautiful like always. Mm-hmm. How do you close that conversation? Mm-hmm. Close the conversation. Close it. I, close. I go to run. <laughs> I see very, very clear. Clear. <laughs> No, you know, you know, it's a good one. Thank you. My girlfriend will be happy to hear that. Like, oh. <laughs> you, your girlfriend? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. That, 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 that's really, if that's you don't want, that, that's a very good way. And every man will go away like, oh, yeah. man. Really? <laughs> yes, we're getting married next month in California. Like, oh, pues, yeah. Okay, well, good for you. Okay, bye. <laughs> uh, do you have friends? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay. Okay, what is another typical conversation closer when you don't want to speak with somebody? Or like you want to leave? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I'm so sorry, but I need to go to that accelerated house or my... I have employment. I'm married. Uh-huh. 
Uh-huh. Yeah. Appointment. Mm -hmm. I'm really late. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I have or to the... go. My mom just called me and I have mm -hmm. to help her. Or the typical, hey, by the way, what time is it? Uh, what? It's late. Really? Oh my God. I got to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a typical. I one. have my English class. Yeah, I have English class. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. Huh? <laughs> but it's Sunday, uh, it's extra reinforcement. <clears throat> but it's Christmas. I pay double. <laughs> no, there's always an excuse. Conversation closers. In class with a friend, is there a conversation? Yeah, conversation closers. Okay. So let's, let's listen to this conversation. Three conversations at a party. Who is speaking in each one? So in number one, we'll have a mother and her son, a teacher and her student, or a woman and her son's friend. Number two is two young students are speaking, two older friends are speaking, or two co-workers. What is co-worker? Mm -hmm. Do we have co-workers in the class? No, we have a classmate. Okay, good. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Classmates. Good. Thank you for that, Alexander. No, but, you know, sometimes uh, we have classmates that are from the same company. Mm. Yeah, because the, the reason why I ask you this is because sometimes people say he's my partner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and uh, he or she's my partner. And actually, partner is only two people. So partner is the, is the compliment. And so in this case, you don't say he's my partner. He's my coworker. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have two cooks, two wives, or two classmates. Cook is another name for a chef. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So actually, cook is the is the is a professional. A chef is a professional cook. Mm -hmm. And cook is the normal. I think everybody's a cook. Yeah. So hey, I will be a cook today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's hear the conversation. Tell me if you can hear. Listen to three conversations at a party. Who is speaking okay. in yes, each teacher. one? Thank yes, teacher. One. Hi, are you Pete? Yes, hello. I'm Liz Morton, Tom Morton's mother. Oh, right. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Morton. You too. So, are you enjoying the party? Yeah, it's great. This might be the last time I see some of these people for a long time, so I've been pretty busy trying to make sure I get a chance to talk to everyone. You know, it's strange to think that all you kids are graduating. Do you have any plans after graduation? Well, I've applied for a teaching job overseas. I guess I'll probably find out if I got the job or not next week. You're more adventurous than Tom. I can't believe he's going to take a job right here in town. But it's a good job, I guess. And of course, I would miss him if he went far away. Yeah, I know. My mom doesn't want me to go far away either. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I think another friend of mine is leaving. Excuse me, Mrs. Morton. I need to say goodbye to him before he goes. Oh, sure. It was great to meet you, Pete. Two. Hey, Jim. Great music. What group is it? I don't know. It's the radio. Maybe they'll say after it's over. Well, it's a good thing my wife isn't here, or she'd make me dance to it. You know, she loves that old-fashioned dancing. Yeah, I know. My wife's the same way. Myself, I haven't danced since my wedding day, and I intend to keep it that way. Yeah, I'm with you. Although I do like this old-fashioned dance music, the bands back in those days could really play. Not like today. It's all image now, you know? Oh, I don't know about that. It's just the styles changed, that's all. I mean, a lot of those pop stars are actually pretty talented. You really think so? Sure. Actually, I've been listening to this CD my grandson left behind at the house last Thanksgiving. It's some of that, what do you call it, that hip-hop music. 
You what? You've got to be kidding me. No, no. A lot of it isn't bad. I mean, at least the lyrics are about something, you know? Hmm, I don't know. No, try it. You'll see. Wait, wait, I'll put it on now. I'd rather go out dancing. Anyway, I should get going. I'll call you later. Three. Mmm, Jenny. This is delicious. I love stuffed grape leaves. Yeah, me too. It all tastes delicious. Do you think they made all this themselves? Or did they have it catered? Oh no, George is a great cook. Why would they cater it? Really? Oh yeah, George cooks? You didn't know that? Lynn's always saying that's half the reason she married him. Well, that is a good reason. Is she ever lucky? I wish my husband liked to cook. He completely avoids anything that has to do with the kitchen. You know, my husband's talking about signing up for an Italian cooking class on Saturdays. I hope he does it. Oh, I wonder if I could convince my husband to do that. I'd sure love being the taste tester for his recipes. Exactly what I was thinking. Well, I'll let you know when the class starts. Great, please do. In the meantime, I think I'll go mention it to him. Talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Okay, so number one, in this conversation, what do you think it was? A mother and her son, a teacher and her student, or a woman and her son's friend? A woman and her son's friend. A woman and her son. A woman and her son's friend. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I heard a teacher's here somewhere. Yeah, a teacher. So, do you think it's a woman and her son's friend? Okay. Yes, a woman. Yeah. Her son. Okay, yes, let's see. Sure. All right, let's see. The second conversation it was two young students, two older friends, or two co workers? Two older, two older, older friends. 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 Awesome. Number three, two cooks, two wives, two classmates. Two wives. two wives. All right. So let's see next. Let's hear next. Listen to three conversations at a party. Who is speaking in each one? One. Hi, are you Pete? Yes, hello. I'm Liz Morton, Tom Morton's mother. Oh, right. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Morton. You too. So, are you enjoying the party? Yeah, it's great. This might be the last time I see some of these people for a long time, so I've been pretty busy trying to make sure I get a chance to talk to everyone. You know, it's strange to think that all you kids are graduating. Do you have any plans after graduation? Well, I've applied for a teaching job overseas. I guess I'll probably find out if I got the job or not next week. You're more adventurous than Tom. I can't believe he's going to take a job right here in town. But it's a good job, I guess. And of course I would miss him if he went far away. Yeah, I know. My mom doesn't want me to go far away either. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I think another friend of mine is leaving. Excuse me, Mrs. Morton. I need to say goodbye to him before he goes. Oh, sure. It was great to meet you, Pete. Hey, Jim. Great music. What group is it? I don't know. It's the radio. Maybe they'll say after it's over. Well, it's a good thing my wife isn't here, or she'd make me dance to it. You know, she loves that old-fashioned dancing. Yeah, I know. My wife's the same way. Myself, I haven't danced since my wedding day and I intend to keep it that way. Yeah, I'm with you. Although I do like this old-fashioned dance music, the bands back in those days could really play. Not like today. It's all image now, you know? Oh, I don't know about that. It's just the styles changed, that's all. I mean, a lot of those pop stars are actually pretty talented. You really think so? Sure. Actually, I've been listening to this CD my grandson left behind at the house last Thanksgiving. It's some of that, what do you call it, that hip-hop music. You what? You've got to be kidding me. 
No, no. A lot of it isn't bad. I mean, at least the lyrics are about something, you know? Hmm, I don't know. No, try it. You'll see. Wait, wait, I'll put it on now. I'd rather go out dancing. Anyway, I should get going. I'll call you later. Three. Mmm, Jenny. This is delicious. I love stuffed grape leaves. Yeah, me too. It all tastes delicious. Do you think they made all this themselves? Or did they have it catered? Oh no, George is a great cook. Why would they cater it? Really? Oh yeah, George cooks? You didn't know that? Lynn's always saying that's half the reason she married him. Well, that is a good reason. Is she ever lucky? I wish my husband liked to cook. He completely avoids anything that has to do with the kitchen. You know, my husband's talking about signing up for an Italian cooking class on Saturdays. I hope he does it. Oh, I wonder if I could convince my husband to do that. I'd sure love being the taste tester for his recipes. Exactly what I was thinking. Well, I'll let you know when the class starts. Great, please do. In the meantime, I think I'll go mention it to him. Talk to you soon. Okay, bye. This was, this was long. Okay, so number one. It was great to meet you. It was great to meet you. It was great to meet you. Um, that's a goodbye thing. You know, like when you're leaving. Okay, bye. It was great. You know, you can say it was nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. That is the traditional. That is the mucho gusto, mucho gusto, mucho gusto, mucho gusto. But when you say it was great to meet you, it's like it really was. Mm -hmm. You know, so if if you meet somebody um, and, you know, it was really, yeah, it was great to meet you. Mm -hmm. But it's not more, more formal. No, no. I mean, it's, it's like, it's like, um, it's like what I'm saying. In, in, in El Salvador, we, we say, Adios, mucho gusto. Adios, mucho Un placer gusto. conocerte. Uh -huh. it's, it's, like a great, it's, it's more, it's really, okay? Yes, it's more like, hey, it really was. It, mm -hmm. It's more honest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was great to meet you. It was a pleasure to meet you. It was fun to meet you. Yes. Yes. For example, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp in this moment. <laughs> oh. Johnny Depp can say it was sad to meet you. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was a mistake. No. To me. <laughs> Number two. Talk to you soon. It was great to meet you, Pete. Anyway, I okay. should get going. I called you later. Anyway, I, I should get going. It called you later. Okay. Anyways, I should be going. I'll call you later. Anyway. So, what was number three? Talk to, to you soon. Talk to, to you soon. soon. Awesome. Good people. Yes. Do, 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 do. All right, let's go to the next. I think it's a video. Okay. Oh, by the end of this part, uh, by the end of this class, participants will understand the use of reported speech. Okay, this is okay. I want you to pay attention to this. Do you know what is a reported speech? Yes. What is a reported speech? Reported speech is like a. Explain, uh, for example, uh, I, I have a, I don't know, like a dialogue or conversation or meeting, but the report speech is like a, I don't know, maybe summary of okay. report, but I, I explain like a, a part of the totally um, conversation, kind of. Yes. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, Alexander. Thank you. It's true. You know, one thing, one thing I tell my class, before you understand what is a reported speech, do you understand what is a quoted speech? 
Do you know what is a quote? Mm -hmm. oh, no. Yes, yes hmm? teacher. Because you say exactly that the other people said. Yes. So, mm -hmm. so for example, uh, in Titanic, what did Leonardo DiCaprio say? And remember when he was in the in La Punta Beach? <laughs> I am the king of the world. Very good. Exactly, Anna. He said, he said, quote, he said. Eh, mm -hmm. nosotros en inglés, así, en español, no, no sé cómo se dice. Abro, abro comillas, ¿sí? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So in, in English, the expression with this, mm -hmm. so what did, what did uh, Jack say? He said, quote, I am the king of the world, unquote. Mm -hmm. All right, this is this is a very a small example. I want you to understand. Yes, so when you quote, you speak as that person. Yes, that's why he said, quote, mm -hmm. I am the king of the world, unquote. Now, if you want to report a, what, what did he say? I, that he was the happiest person in the whole world in this moment. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're telling what he said in your version. Yes, your version. Mm -hmm. But it has to be similar. <laughs> because what did Jack say? He said, quote, I am the king of the world. Good, reported speech. Now, what is a, uh, I'm sorry, that's a quoted speech. What is a report? Excuse me, what is a reported speech? Uh, he said that he was sick. Mm -hmm. that, that's not what he said. Mm -hmm. Correct? Okay. He didn't say he was sick. He said that he's the king in, in his country. He didn't say that. Yeah, dijo king. Yeah, but he said king because he said he was very happy. He was like the best moment of his life. That's what he said. Huh. So that's a reported speech. Por eso viene the re el reportero, the reporter. Because like Alexander say, like uh, I imagine Bukele, I don't know, he's going to speak 30 minutes or two hours today. <laughs> but I am not watching it. You are not watching it. But maybe if my wife is awake, when I go to sleep, I'm going to ask her, hey, so what did... Bukele say, she's not going to quote what she, he said. She's going to report like, ah, oh, he said that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you understand the difference between um, reported speech and quoted speech, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Okay. Conste que aquí empiezan los chambres. <laughs> <laughs> it's true okay gossip yes mm -hmm. yeah uh, I can be, um, he said he's and you know we say he said that he will <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me give you an example and I will say this because it's a topic that we all know but um, I remember last time the president spoke he said he said that if Mareros don't stop, he will continue and the punishment will be more severe, más severo, right? If, he said if, that was, it was a conditional. He said if Mareros continue, he will continue. All right, good. That's, that's a neutral, <laughs> that's neutral what he said. But now imagine I am anti-Bukele. I ask you, so what did Bukele say yesterday? He said that all the Mareros will suffer until they die <laughs> and they will pay and their mothers will go to and cry and cry and he will arrest the mothers and the fathers and the wives and the babies inside the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> That's maybe someone from El Faro or, or something. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, and, and maybe, <clears throat> maybe 
maybe Bukele said that, but not not in that form, <laughs> you know, you know, not in that way. So, but that's a reported speech. But o sea, le dieron un toque ya to what he said, but they just put more salsa, you know, on it. <laughs> so, um, or maybe now it's a blog, you know, and they are pro Bukele, and they, they report and say, the president of El Salvador told gangs to please stop, <laughs> or he will continue with the punishment. He doesn't want to, but he will if it's necessary. Yeah, he didn't say that, but you know, so, entonces, so I don't know, do I believe a blog? Do I believe a faro? Like, hmm, no, I want to check. What did he say? Ah, quote, he said, quote, if you don't stop, I will continue and you will eat no more chicken, <laughs> unquote. <laughs> okay. All right, so. This is just like to uh, refresh your mind before we see the topic now. Now let's watch the video. Pay attention to the reported speech. Also, okay, one thing. You understand now the difference between a reported speech and an... And, um, quoted speech, correct? Yes. Good. Now, pay attention that a reported speech is always in past tense. Similar in Spanish. Okay. En español, hacemos un gran error. Decimos, eh, ah, él dijo que, que va a construir un aeropuerto nuevo. Listen to this. El dijo que va a construir. El dijo is past, right? Mm -hmm. Que va a construir is future. future. Mm -hmm. So that's not correct. Mm -hmm. We understand, yes. But actually, everything is in past. El dijo que iba a construir. Mm -hmm. that's, how, that's the correct way in Spanish and in English. Okay. So pay attention to the tenses in English. Okay. It's always past. He said he was. She said she was. He said he is. No. He, she said she is. No. She said she was. He was. Okay. So let's listen to the video. Or watch the video. Hi. I'm sorry. What did you say? This time you will be able to report what someone has said to you or to someone else. Reported speech, statement. It's a big secret. Report, statement. He said that it was a big secret. I'm getting a terrible grade. He said that he was getting a terrible grade. They got engaged. He said that they had gotten engaged. We weren't talking about you. They claimed that they hadn't been talking about me. She's been absent since Tuesday. He said that she had been absent since Tuesday. We had never been there before. She said that they had never been there before. I'll meet you at the cafe. He said that he would meet me at the cafe. Reported questions. I asked him if he had known about the layoffs. What are you saying? I asked them what they were saying. Command, don't say anything. Report command. He warned his friends not to say anything. General truths. The sun rises in the east. Reported general truths. She said that the sun rises in the east. No change in tense. Let's talk about reported speech. We often use reported speech too. Number one, give someone a telephone message. Number two, tell someone news that we heard from someone else. Number three, to report something that happened earlier. Now, how do we use it? When we use reported speech, we are usually talking about something that happened in the past. Therefore, verbs usually change to a tense one step in the past. Follow us in these examples. John said, 
I do a lot of homework. John said that he did a lot of homework. John said, I did a lot of homework last week. John said that he had done a lot of homework the previous week. This is what we mean when we say the verbs usually change to a tense one step in the past. For example, um is becomes was, are becomes were, have has becomes had, can becomes could, will becomes would. Something else we need you to take into account are these changes. Here becomes there, this these becomes that those. Today, tonight, becomes that day, that night. Yesterday becomes the day before. Last week, last month, becomes the previous week, the previous month, or the week before, the month before. Tomorrow becomes the next day, the following day. Next week, next month, becomes the following week, the following month. But we do have some exceptions to the rules. There is no change in tense when reporting general truth, and no tense change in immediately reported speech. Also take note about this, that is optional. Let's go over questions in reported speech. Remember we have WH questions and yes no questions. For example, where do you work? She asked me where I worked. Whereas in yes no questions in reported speech becomes if. Before we go, we have to go over commands in reported speech. With commands, the verb in simple present becomes an infinitive. Don't plus simple present becomes not plus infinitive. Please change the following sentences to reported speech. Type them on our discussion box. She eats pasta. We came late. I am happy. Hi, I'm okay. Uh, maybe, maybe that um, the video, and if we practice, we'll do it better. So let's see the the, the rules. It says reported speech. Do you see this statements? It's a big secret. She said it's a big secret. Okay, now. Look what I found. Um, my first baby shoes. My first baby's croc. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I'm going to ask somebody, like I want to have a conversation with somebody and everybody will listen, okay, and see what happens. Ana Vilma, there is a bat behind you. There is a bat behind you. <laughs> two for two, I got you. No, Ana Vilma, where do you live? Hello. You are on mute. Ana Vilma, hello. Sorry. You're... Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Where do you I live? live? I live in San Salvador, near, near from the zoo. Oh, really? Where? Yes. Where, in like? Front. That is Nicaragua, the... La Nicaragua, no? Modelo. Oh, you live there? Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. We we live a little close because I live in Vista Hermosa, but yeah. Oh, okay. We are the, close. Yeah, because from the zoo, that street up, 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 uh -huh. up, up goes to the my Providence? house. Uh -huh. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Okay. Hey, the, the zoo will closed, correct? Yes, finally. What happened? What's going to happen <laughs> yes. with what's going to happen with all the animals? Mm -hmm. I think that they live in uh, Pures, Pures, or somewhere like that. Mm -hmm. I, um, Aurora in Guatemala, too. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, okay, yeah. good. Oh, okay, hey, yeah. well, that's good. Mm -hmm. A good idea, I think. Yes, it's a good idea. For animals. For animals, yes. Um, the I, the ex director of the zoo. Mm -hmm. He's a, he, yeah, he's a friend of mine because I known him for for a long time in the neighborhood. And I and I remember when that Gustavito part happened. Oh. I said, "Hey, what happened, man? How come you don't have cameras?" He says, "The problem is that all the cameras are in the birds." Because those wakamayas or something, mm -hmm. some people pay up to forty or fifty thousand dollars for That's those. Expensive, yes. Mm. Yeah. So he, he says we do have, but I mean, they it's like they prefer to have like on the expensive. Who's going to take a mm -hmm. hippopotamus? And it's like, okay, that's true. <laughs> but yeah, but <laughs> all the all the cameras were like in the. Mm, all right. So let me see. You live in in your modelo. Have you ever eaten panes by that woman in the gas station in La Texaco? Yes. They're so good. Yuka, in tamales. Yes. All yes. right. Okay. All the food is delicious. And where do you work, Anna? I work in a television channel. Oh, really? Yes. In um, 30 what? 33. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah? What, what do you do there? I'm in the human research, human department. Human resources. Yes. All right, very good. Thank you for answering those questions. Now, let me see how good, <laughs> uh, how good you listen. Miguel Franco, where did she say she lived? Now, listen to my questions. I'm saying everything in past. Porque ella ya dijo todo. No está she diciendo ni she, va a decir. Uh -huh. She said that she lived in Modelo. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. All right. Kalena, where did she say she worked? She said she, she, said she worked in uh, Canal 33. All right. Good. Marielos, where exactly did she say she lived in El Modelo? Marielos, the microphone. Microphone. Hmm. Microphone. Marielos. Mike, Mike. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Can you hear me now? Okay. Yes. She yes. she she said she lived uh, near to the zoo. Mm, she said near to the zoo. Yes, she said that. I think she said something different. No, she said that. I took <laughs> notes. <laughs> oh, you took notes. Oh, okay, yes, good. <laughs> oh, okay, but didn't she say? Oh, yeah. Is that Didn't she say she lived in front of the zoo? No, I heard the first thing she said was near oh, to the zoo. Oh, OK, yes. The first thing she said was near the zoo. But exactly mm -hmm. where? In front. Uh, you said in front, correct, Anna? Yes. Yes, in front. All right, cool. Thank you. Hey, all right, Marielos. You took, <laughs> you took <laughs> notes. Awesome. You know, I don't know why Zoom has not invented um, uh, say, emoji, the, the microphone. Uh, yeah, I, I I always wonder because like, for example, in this case, Marielo, you know, she was talking and, and that happens to everybody. <laughs> it, it, it happened to me today. You know, sometimes you forget you're in mute. And that's, you know, uh, remember, remember before um, Hotmail, when you chat in Hotmail? Get un zumbido. When somebody, uh -huh. I don't know, Zoom should do that. Something like a little. Yeah. You know, like microphone, 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 <laughs> <laughs> or camera, camera, camera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to write to them, and if if you see Zoom in the future with that, is my idea. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Oh, okay, class. Look, it's nine. It's nine. Um, tomorrow we can continue a little bit more about this conversation about active listening and and to see how you respond. Okay. 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 Ciao. Okay, teacher. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Have a good great. Night. Have good a good day. Bye bye. Thanks. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye bye.